Hello for golfers, my name is Willie Beast and I am your author for golfers. Guys, today we're looking at two different irons. Actually, a hybrid or fairway hybrid versus a two iron. I just did a video here on a three wood versus a two iron. So you want to watch that, it's in the iron above. You can see the data when I gathered from that. It's, it's quite a fun video actually. We are going to be using today the Swing Kelly SC300, which again is a Doppler radar device. It uses radar to track the ball speed and doesn't give you much about direction, but gives you the most important data, which is ball speed, swing speed, smash factor, and apex, and a variety of other things that come with it. And it's actually just do spin rate, but that is for later on in the app. So, I'm going to start with what I've just used. No, I'm not. I'm going to start with the TaylorMade. The TaylorMade is really old, beat up burner hybrid, but I, it's actually a rescue club. I really like it though. They have very similar degrees of loft here. This has 18 degrees of loft, loft, and this has 19 degrees of loft. So very, very similar loft capabilities. We are using SC300, um, we're going to pair two, and I'm going to run on with the hybrid first. So if you are an awful golfer like me, mid-handicapper, what do you want? Do you want a two iron, which is harder to hit typically, or a more safer, gets the ball off the ground, hybrid? Let's go find out. See the next part of this video. I've got the uh, hybrid in my hand here. Let's see how this does. So we have the hybrid. It is a tailmade burner, a super fast 2.0. Again, the shaft in it is a stiff flex shaft. It has a six degrees of shaft, and it is just a regular, just a stock burner shaft. Nothing special here. Has got a slightly more built up grip. I uh, like a more thicker grip. Because of my ears playing tennis, it just feels more natural to me to have that more chunky grip than a skinny grip. So, let's do one here with the hybrid first. Let's see what data I can get out of this. I know what my data on my hybrid, I have a pretty nice hybrid. I quite like this club. I get it up off the ground quite a lot, but do I necessarily need it since I've now got the three wood and this and then now the two iron? Uh, so, we're gonna see the difference here, which is better. Okay, first one, what data can I hit here? There's a run. Run, 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 run. Okay, 188 yards of carry. But before I hit the next shot, do me a massive favour. Absolutely smash that like button. Again, do it for the cause, and it makes our fan channel grow, grow, and grow. I think our best video so far were almost like 10 likes, which I'm so happy with. So thank you so much for looking at that liked that video. It means a world. So the first one was 188 yards of carry. That wasn't the best shot, maybe, actually. Uh, swing speed, 100, 100 uh, miles an hour. This is ball speed was 150, but I don't see how I've got that much carry there in comparison. But let's give it a run of the dice here. So let's do a few more. I might change the swing case settings just ever so slightly because you can change the loft. So I'm going to put down to 18 degrees of loft, loft which is in this club here. Again, if you want to see more on this SC300 swing caddy review, the link is in the eye above. Let's see now what I can do with this one, which is really the better one. So 188 total uh, of carry, not total, but of carry. I want to say I can beat that. Here we go. Next one here, yeah, let's give it a run. A little bit toey. I feel my club turning as I hit the shot. 207 yards. Better. 207 yards of total carry there. Not too bad. Not the best, but again, it hit the toe. I could feel it when I made contact with the ball, the club turned, which means that I hit the ball towards the toe. Of the club. So all for golfers, if you don't know what the toe of the club is, which at some point you might not know, most of you will, the toe, like a foot, the very edge, the heel is to more towards the centre of the actual shaft of the club. Again, that sounds very rudimental, but if you're an awful golfer like I once upon a time was, I didn't even know that, so now you do know that. So third one, 207 so far, the best, the hybrid. So I can get another one here. So what was that? Yeah, swing speed 99, it's not, not too bad. That didn't feel good. That one I don't quite predict is quite true. I hit that one not clean at all. I was not clean. I was really on the bottom of the face. So we're going to do that one again because sometimes even with awful golfers like me make mistakes. And that one is a prime example of me making a wonderful mistake. Let's try it again, yeah? Let's go. Come on. 217. We'll say we'll go back to the one. 
Two weights. That's best score. Come on now. Still toe Still toe 226 yards. So 226. Um, I'll carry there. Not bad. We've got one more here. I want to hit with this hybrid, and I'm going to go onto my two iron, my new Taylor Man two iron, uh, and see what I can do there. So, one more. What can I get here? 226 carry, uh, not much more than that. 102 ball, uh, swing speed, ball speed, uh, 144, uh, apex of 99 feet. Not the best. Let's try one more here. I want to focus on being smooth. One thing, tip for all for golfers, be smooth. Smooth you are in every sport, tennis, soccer, the smoother your skills are, the better timing you'll get, and then eventually the more swing speed you can get. But the rougher your, your technique, rougher your, how, the less smooth you are, the less control you'll get, because you can't get that feedback. So smooth, and that was, again, really toe. 218 yards. And that makes sense, that was 218. Didn't catch the best there. I want to do one more because that's not the club's error, that's the wheel's error, that's my error. So I want to do one more there. I did feel the best. Try one more here. Last one. I know this is kind of bending the rules, but hey, it's my turn. <laughs> I can bend the rules if I like. A bit better. 193 yards. 193. So that is my rescue club again. That is it. Sometimes clubs don't always suit your game, and today the, the burner didn't suit my game. But we have the comparison now. What we're going to use here, I'm going to use this. You'll see the screen now. It is the Tailman P7, the P790, two iron UDI. Again, hi, it's good. I like it. I've used it in another video. You see, in the eye above that video, of me hitting comparing two between a three wood and, and a uh, this club itself. Let's hit six shots. I think we hit six shots with the three wood. Sorry, the, the, the uh, no, with the uh, hybrid. And let's see the difference here. So I'm going to go down now and change the loft. So it's going to be at, that's not correct. Uh, oh, it's right, at 19 degrees. So 19 degrees here with the, yeah. Right, here we go. I'm excited here. I'm really excited. I like this club. Uh, let's see the difference in shafts. Is there a difference in length? So I put these two shafts down here. Is there a difference in length? Little bit, maybe an inch and a half difference in swing. So that will affect the data slightly. So a little difference in swing, different grip, not as bulky, bit more skinny grip. Again, stock grip will come to the club. Can I hit here six balls that can beat that figure of 208? I was being really generous and say 217, but it really was more like 208. Here we go. That's carried, by the way. Good start. So I really like the two iron because I really like hitting a three iron. Uh, my three iron I've got is not the newest of clubs in the world, but I've always loved hitting a three iron. I've really enjoyed it. I've actually had more success with irons than I do my hybrids and my woods and my drivers. So it makes a lot more sense to have me, in my case, mid handicapper, with this club. But traditionally, these are hard to hit. For some reason, I prefer hitting those harder face clubs. Not sure why, maybe it's going to be more aggressive. I don't really know. Let's go again here, so I can get a few more out. Nice, nice. 205 yards. So 205, um, not quite close, pretty close. But I'll enter a little secret. If you haven't watched, if you haven't gone back and looked at the video between the uh, TaylorMade versus my uh, three wood, I actually hit one of these at 231 yards of carry. So I can hit these pretty far, which I'm very excited about. I can hit one of those pretty far as well. But today is today. On the day, I was on a golf course, trying to get less score, which is better. 205. So I'm three yards out here, and I've got three more balls left. Here we go. Come on. So I'm going to get ready this. Smooth. Remember, smooth, smooth, smooth. That one there is the reason why these two irons are hard to hit. I actually hit the ground first there. And it made an awful noise. <laughs> a terrible noise, as a matter of fact. Um, so, again, consistency, 
high bridge, two iron, two iron so far, I've been hitting better. But let's try it again here. Stay smooth. Smoothness is a real weapon to have in your game. That felt so much better. Felt so much better. 216 yards. So, 216. We have beaten the hybrid. Excellent. So that's what I wanted to do. I've achieved it. So the UDI has achieved what I wanted to do. We've got one more ball left here. So 216 yards, that one had a swing speed of 102 miles an hour, ball speed of 147, uh, apex of 158 feet, so not bad. And the switch smash factor of ah, 1.43, and the angle of loft, which it came off the club, was 18.5 degrees, so almost bang flat. Perfect. Right, one more here. I've got one more strike. How far can I hit this? Can I really get that magic number of 231? Let's go find that. All right, let's give us a run here. Here we go. And smooth. Let's soon be smooth. Not sure, not sure. Two yeah, I didn't time that well. Yards. But 206. I've done out why I was thought I might do and I've achieved it. The two iron, yes, it's hard to hit, but if you can hit them, I honestly, honestly God say, go for the two iron. If you can hit them, they are a safer club. They would fly lower. If it's a windy, blustery day and an open links course, the two iron's always going to be your best friend compared to a three iron, a, th uh, a hybrid, which is a higher loft, it will always go a bit higher. But on this occasion, these are very similar when it comes to loft. So, no, very similar. How the outcome's going? What would I really go for? It's just prettier, isn't it? Way prettier. Uh, yes, I will go for the tail my two iron. I prefer it. I like the look of it. I like how I make contact with it, and I like having the aggressive with it and not hit the ball too hard. So that was my little comparison here, my little little review here of the two clubs. If you like what you see, again, hit the like button as hard as you can. If you want to, do it three times. So it's even faster and more likes we can do. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm your awful golfer's guide. My name is William Meese, and have a great rest of your day. And today, on this very merry day, it's New Year's Eve. So, Happy New Year, and I hope 2021 is way better than 2020 was, because it was crap. So, have a good one. Thank you for watching. See you all soon.